What's going on everybody? Welcome back to the channel. And today's video is going to be a home repair. Uh, I'm going to be tackling replacing cartridge on my kitchen sink. Uh, it is dripping. I will insert a quick clip of that right now. I'm going to show you how easy it is to fix this. I actually did this repair five years ago. It was the hot water side that was leaking and now the cold water side's leaking. Uh, I'll show you the part I used, how I determined which side was leaking. I guess you could just do both sides. Um, I went ahead and only did the one side that was leaking before, and it did last five years before the other side was leaking. And that was um, five years plus whatever the original life of this sink was. I'm guessing it was probably three or four years old when it started leaking the first time. Uh, so the cold water side, that's the side that's leaking now, uh, lasts about eight years. You can do just the one that's leaking or you do them both at the same time, whatever, it's up to you. But I'm going to show you how I determine which side's leaking and how we replace it. So let's jump into it. So the first thing you're going to have to do is find out what brand faucet you have. Uh, this one is like laser etched in the front, but it's very, very light. It's right in the center of the screen. It's, uh, I believe it's pronounced Fister. It's P-F-I-S-T-E-R. And it actually took me a very long time to even find that. It's really hard to see that. You notice if I move the camera, it almost disappears. So you're going to want to find out what brand faucet you have. Because once you find out the brand, you can find out what model. If you happen to already know the model, then you're golden. Um, I didn't know what model this was. This was in the house when I bought the house. Uh, so I found out it was a Feister or Fister. And um, I just Google searched and found what looked like this. And then I was able to figure it out. Uh, to be honest, I actually messed up when I did this a few years ago. Um, I'll zoom in. If you see this cap is missing, uh, focused, focus camera. There's a cap right here. I thought there was a screw that held this on. Um, so I pried it off and I actually broke it. Um, and then I lost the cap. I was going to super glue it back on. Then I lost the cap. Uh, these are actually very easy. It's just this part twists off and I'll show you how to do that. But first we're going to determine what side's leaking. I already know it's the cold side, but I'll teach you guys. If you can see it's dripping and what you're going to do is turn off one valve underneath the sink at a time. So uh, up here, that's my hot water valve. So I'm going to turn that water off. And then we're going to see if the water stops dripping. As you can see, it's still dripping. So we're going to turn the hot water back on and then turn the cold water off. All right, the cold water is off and it stopped dripping. You do need to give it a second because there is residual water in the faucet, but it definitely has stopped since I turned the cold water off. So this is how I know it's the cold water side. So to remove the cartridge that's inside, on this model, you just gotta grab this and twist it and you're gonna go lefty loosey. And this was, the hot water side was a lot stiffer, so you might have to actually get some uh, actual strength on this. We're just gonna unscrew it. And then you just set the handle aside. And then what we got here is the cartridge. The cartridge is held in by this brass nut. So you're going to need a wrench. I'm going to use a channel lock, but if you have a wrench that fits this or a crescent wrench, but we're going to unscrew this brass fitting that's in here. And it didn't take much, it's pretty light actually. Now I'll drop the link to this brass fitting if yours is all corroded or messed up. Um, I'll give it a link in the uh, to Amazon where you can buy this. And then here's your cartridge. And you're just gonna pull this up and out. And it's held in and then water's gonna come out. I guess I should mention that. Uh, it's held in just by this O-ring. So you gotta kind of give it a tug. Um, sometimes using something like this to grab a hold of it and you go yank it up but now it's out so i went ahead and ordered a new one on amazon and i'll put the link to that in the description i think it was like seven bucks uh, it just comes in a little plastic bag and you're going to go ahead and open this up all right so the new one's on the right this is the new one this is the old one and i do notice that this blue collar is different between the two uh the one on the left which is what came out of the sink is definitely taller as far as that blue collar goes. I don't know if that's going to make a difference. That The only thing I can think of is that keeps the handle from going all the way down. 
What I am going to do is go ahead and install the new one and try it and see if it works. Uh, I will not be putting any kind of lube on this. Um, I guess you could use like food grade silicone, but uh, the water that's still uh, in here should be good enough. So I'm just gonna kind of slide it in there and it's kind of notched and then push it down. Okay, now that's in there, we're gonna go ahead and take the brass fitting and start screwing this in. And it's already pretty tight, so that means the cartridge might not be seated all the way. There we go. That's better. And then we're gonna tighten it. We're just gonna snug it up with the wrench. should do it. Now we're going to put the handle back on. We're going to line it up to its off position. Screw it back down. Okay, it's screwed back on. We're going to turn the water back on. The water's back on. And no drips. Make sure it works. Oh. And I adjusted this wrong. So it's it's going too far back, so that's an easy fix. We're just gonna unscrew it. As long as we don't pop that cartridge out, we shouldn't have to turn the water off. Uh, I would turn the water off if I were you, so you don't flood your kitchen. Just gonna rotate it, put it back on. There we go. Now it's off where it should be and on where it should. All right, guys, that's it. That literally took like two minutes. Um, all I did was since I already replaced the hot water, I figured it was a cold water. I turned off the cold water, saw that the drip stops. I went on Amazon. I checked my history. It was five years ago, almost to the month, that I ordered the hot water cartridge. So all I did was click that link. Uh, it was still available, and I saw like other things from the same seller, went and bought the cold water version. Like I said, I'll drop the link to the brass fitting and to the cartridge that is for this model. So, I mean, you have to figure out if you have a Delta faucet or like American Standard or, or whatever brand, you need to figure out which cartridge you have. Uh, one of the things you can do is take it apart, take it out, take a com some pictures of it, uh, see if there's any part numbers on it, put it back together until you can find and order one. But if you happen to have this model, I'll put those links in the description. Um, but really, if I wasn't filming it, two minute job. Super easy. Um, you can get replacement O-rings, but for real, it was like seven bucks for that cartridge assembly. It does come with a second O-ring. The second O-ring is not really uh, like a round one. It's more flat. So I don't know if there's like two different styles of inserts that you might have on this that it fits different ones. I'm not sure. Uh, the one that comes on it is the one I use. It's round. Uh, it's fine and now I'm done and the, like I said the red red one the hot side has lasted five years so far since I replaced it with no issues um, and for seven bucks I'm totally cool if it lasts five years and I gotta replace it again uh, it's easy peasy calling a plumber out to do this I'm sure it would be over a hundred bucks plus however much they mark up the cost uh, so for seven bucks if I gotta do it every five years no problem but anyways guys if you thought this was useful uh, hit that thumbs up and um, share it with some family members or friends on Facebook or however you guys communicate. Um, a lot of people are too afraid to do this themselves and they'll spend hundreds of dollars to have somebody professionally do that. And it's super easy. Uh, anyways, guys, thank you so much. Also hit that subscribe button. It does help my channel grow. I appreciate it. Uh, if you have any suggestions for future videos, drop a comment. Or if you have any suggestions or comments on this video, drop a comment. But thanks for watching, guys, and I'll catch you on the next one.